Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye as well for a few links to different stuffs. But here we are. So we're going to keep working on this text tag system and also add a little health bar hopefully today on our little enemies. And we're going to fix a few things that we've been lagging behind on. So first of all, I want you to go into your text tag system dot CPP and I want you to control C this line or just do a control D next to it. Depends on what you like and change this to experience experience tag. OK, so we're going to add a text tag template now, which we'll be able to use and what it's going to be is you can we keep whatever you want here. I'll just remove that font. The size will be pretty much the same. Uh, let's see how a text tag is. So it's a position X, Y, direction, character size and lifetime. So let's make it a little bigger and let's make it cyan to indicate what's going on. And then what else is there? It's a speed. So 250, it can be a little faster. And it can live a little longer and it's a little bigger and this can be 40 i'd say the default tag and it's white now we're going to add one more template and we'll see what templates we have available that we created so negative tag is a red tag any positive tag is a green tag so i'll just say negative tag here Control d this and say negative tag actually i'm gonna put this between here. I'm going to try to keep the order correct. So once you do that, if I'm, am I even recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> once you do that, uh, this negative tag is going to be red and it's going to be 40 as well, but it's going to live like this and be 250 in speed. So I'd say that's good and we'll go upwards. That's good. That's good. We could do negative tag going downwards. That could be cool. Depends on what you like, uh, but we'll see how that works. We'll keep it negative for now. Now, first of all, first of all, what we want to do, go into your text tag system CPP, go down and you'll see in each of these add text tags where we have different types and stuff. Uh, we want to change this to tag type. Because sending in default tag each time won't really help us out. So we want to do this and that will give us different types of tags. Now go into your game state.cpp, go down to line 256 here where we're gaining exp and we want to add a experience tag at the player's position with that exp. And what that's going to do is allow me to get a nice blue bluish text tag popping up once I kill the enemy. Now killing the enemy uh, should also give a negative tag, which we will do up here. But for now, gas and ghouls, let's try this out. Let's try it. New game. Uh, go close to your enemy. One, 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 ten. Boom. You see that blue? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, to make this process a little faster, let's go to the function called update combat and enemies right here so we're getting this now update combat and enemies calls another function update combat if you remember we're going here and we'll do a negative tag here with the damage now the damage is taking it's taking is from get damage min so get damage max would be a little better and that will give us a value between one and two hopefully it will be two as well let's try that let's make sure that the negative tags are red Two to ten. Good, good, good. Okay, and that is being done at the player's player's position. I don't want to do that. I want to do it at the enemy's position. So enemy get position X. Enemy get position Y. And now that will pop up where we are hitting the enemy, and damage will damage that. Now I have to get to this. Like I said, I'll fix all this, clean it up, but we'll do that eventually. This is a distance I'm getting from just a random number. Now I want to go ahead into weapon here quickly. Uh, weapon 
HNCPP, open those up, and you'll see there's a range value here, and I do have a get range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this range to 30 by default, and instead of doing this, what I'm gonna do is uh, this player get weapon get range here, okay? And that will help us out a little more. Um, and within that range, we can kill this enemy Good, good, good. So we're not going to try this right now. We do have negative tag. What we'll try the next time we run this, go into your text tag system and go to the templates you're adding and do plus one on the negative tag. We'll see if it goes downwards or not. We'll see. It should work. But that's good. Now, next step is going to be to add a thingy to our enemy. All right. So I was testing a few things. Didn't really work out as I wanted to. What I wanted to do was create a enemy gy thing but i don't have enough time in this video to do that uh, but what i do have time for is actually just quickly quickly going into enemy and going into your rat.htcp this is something we're going to remove very soon so don't worry about it but what we're going to do is sf rectangle shape hp bar just a very temporary one okay and we're going to open our rat.cpp as well and we're going to create a little void in it gy function here we're still going to keep this organized even though we are we're kind of uh yeah we're kind of doing this on the fly and just temporary stuff so this hp bar dot set fill color sf color red step one okay and we're going to set the size of this this hp bar dot set size sf vector 2f we're going to do a little tiny one here we're going to do about 100f and then 20f so kind of tiny and then we're going to do this hp bar dot set there we go set position okay this Whoops, this uh, da, 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 da. movement component get okay, so uh, that is all right. Get let's just see what we do here. This movement component get state okay, so that has that update okay, this sprite. position dot x or get position uh, what we could do is this okay good okay so we're getting the position that's fine now what we're gonna do is we're gonna update that in update so just general update uh, I'm gonna put that right after the movement component GUI remove this this is just a test okay and we're gonna render it as well so we're rendering the hitbox component we're rendering everything so finally after the sprite we're gonna render this uh, there we go target dot draw this HP bar and we're moving it with this thing Good. Now we're just going to update it as well. So we're going to update the GUI here. This HP bar dot set size SF vector 2F. So the X size, the Y size is going to remain 20, but the X size is going to be a percentage value. So it's going to be 100 dot F multiplied by the percent. So this attribute component that get HP divided by this attribute component that get HP max and what this does is it gets a percentage so what percent HP do you have is a hundred percent is it whatever and then we'll multi multiply that by this by a hundred and 
that's how it will be pretty much so one times 100 will be 100 and then on so on and so on so we'll keep this and hopefully we'll be able to see some kind of a progress bar or some kind of a uh, HP bar on our enemy of course we have some error let's go ahead and debug guys let's see what we can do errors errors okay Oh, why did I have that? That's not good. Okay. HP. Okay. Remove that. Make sure. I, it shouldn't be in yours because, yeah, I was testing some stuff, so probably that's why. Uh, and let's put that back. Good. Let's try this. Hopefully, it will run now. Yep. New game. And we'll see some kind of a progress bar. F multiplied okay i forgot to initialize it sorry guys uh, what you want to do of course is to do this init gy like that okay obviously the reason for this is that these are integers and this is not good static cast float cast it to a float like that preferably cast both but i'll just cast this and we'll actually minimize the size of it, it was a little too big actually Let's do half that, almost 50 or 60 probably, and do the same up here. So I'm just going to do 60 and then 10, and then run this. Hopefully it will be better now as a float division instead of a anything else. So yeah, so now you'll see we have some kind of HP bar, and we can kill our enemies with our max damage and get some HP, get a go or XP, all that stuff. And that looks pretty cool, guys and girls. That looks pretty good. So thank you for watching. Sorry for the botched up video. It was a very botched up video. I had a lot of things to catch up on and test since it was a long time ago I made a video. But in the next one, I will keep working on this. Hopefully it will be better. And just ask me if you have any questions. If I did anything wrong, something weird, just let me know and we'll fix it. Uh, we'll create some nice random damage function next video as well. So thanks for watching. Check out the eye on the top right. Also the description box. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff if you like the content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.